Hello, everybody. Today, we will continue studying the role of ultrasound in medical imaging, infertility. Ultrasound helps in cases of infertility in many ways, like in assessing the follicular growth. Normally, there are approximately 9 to 10 follicles. Follicles are these black structures that you can see within the periphery of this ovary. These follicles came about 9 to 10 in number in the beginning and then they start growing and on the 10th or 13th day, one of them is being selected. That means that it will become uh, largest in size. That is called the dominating follicle. And then it will continue to grow. And in a 28th day of the cycle, it should reach uh, minimum uh, 16 millimeter or more. That is called the mature follicle. So through ultrasound, serial ultrasound studies, the healthcare professionals uh, see the development of these follicles occurring or not. And if they are developing well, it means by the 14th day of the cycle, the mature follicle is seen, then they still see on 15, 16th day, day that whether the ovulation has occurred or not. Ovulation means the rupture of the ovarian follicle because the egg is within the follicle so the follicle has to rupture to release the egg for a fertilization and the inf information of the ovarian ovulation is important for coupling trying to conceive as it helps to identify the most fertile period during the cycle because the egg or the ova only live for 24 hours or the maximum 48 hours means one to two days. So during the whole period, this one to two days is only the fertile period. We can also look through ultrasound, the blockage uh, and other abnormalities in the fallopian tubes, which are tubular structures on the side of the uterus. Uh, the Ova released by the ovary is being carried up by the uh, fallopian tubes uh, to get fertilized. But if they, the fallopian tubes are blocked due to any reason like fibrosis and chronic pelvic inflammatory disease, then uh, 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 these can be detected by the use of ultrasound. Ultrasound is often used in IVF for retrieval of the egg means uh, by using ultrasound, they take out egg from the follicle. Ultrasound helps, in, in this case, ultrasound helps to guide the needle to the follicles for extraction of uh, eggs. In cardiac imaging, the echo, uh, cardiac imaging is called echocardiography. Echocardiography can be done uh, the transfer uh, by using the technique of, of, of transphoresic or using the technique of transesophageal. So this is the first modality of choice for assessing the heart function. Number one, because it is non-invasive and it is very safe. Uh, it has no uh, uh, ionizing radiation or magnetic radiations. And it is also very much helpful when serial imaging studies are required. The real-time imaging also provides us the uh, real-time images of the heart, allowing us for the assessment of the dynamic procedures, such as the movements of these heart walls, the walls and whether they are contracting and relaxing properly the opening and closing of these valves and the move inward and outward movement of the interventricular septum as well as you can see the blood flow through the heart. Uh, Transesophageal echocardiography is 
uh, a little bit more specialized cardiac imaging technique. It involves the insertion of the transducer into the esophagus to obtain more detailed images of the heart because it is a high frequency probe and it is uh, adjacent to the heart structure. And this is very much uh, beneficial in the patients uh, with the, uh, with, with, uh, in which you cannot see the heart properly uh, through trans thoracic echocardiography because of the uh, lungs overlying the heart, as in cases of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or emphysic metastasis lung. Role of ultrasound in imaging of the neonatal brain, which is called neonatal encephalography. Uh, ultrasound is really very, um, in, uh, plays a very important, crucial role. There is no other imaging modality to see the newborn infant uh, brain. Uh, an infant uh, uh, is a child from the birth to the age of 12 months or a year. So what happens that we can assess the uh, internal structures of the uh, brain through fountainels. Uh, and fountainels are present where the ossification of the bones is not complete and the sutures are not fully formed. The main uh, fountainel is found uh, in between the frontal and parietal bone. This is called anterior fountainel. And we can see through this fountainel or cartilaginous structure uh, through the fa uh, phase array probes, which are a small scan head. And uh, this is very much helpful in detecting the dilatation of the ventricles or any hemorrhage present within the brain or any infection. Uh, but uh, remember that uh, we can use anterior fontanel uh, to imagine the brain for approximately one and a half year or 18 months, because by that time, this uh, uh, fontanel uh, get uh, featured and it is completely ossified. So it is closed. And then you cannot see the fetal brain through ultrasound. Uh, interventional procedures, ultrasound guided procedures, um, for example, giving a local anesthesia that will, that will make the procedure completely painless. Gui uh, ultrasound guided is also commonly used for minimally invasive procedures while taking the biopsy, biopsies or while doing some aspiration of fluid, uh, like ascitic fluid or fluid fluid, and also while uh, performing some injections. Uh, central uh, venous devices are the devices that are inserted into the body to away to enable the administration of fluid blood products medications and other therapies to the blood stream. So real-time sonography imaging enables to visualize the needle or catheter in the real time, ensuring the precise placement of the minimizing and minimizing the risk of complications during the procedure. Therapeutic ultrasound Unlike diagnostic ultrasound, uh, which is primarily used for imaging the uh, body internal structures, therapeutic ultrasound involves uh, the application of focused sound waves to promote the healing and relief pain in the areas which are affected. One of the therapeutic effects for which the ultrasound has been used is in relation to the tissue healing with the use of therapeutic application of ultrasound which are uh, in the injured tissue, the rate or the speed of healing is increased and it enhances the quality of the repair.
abdominal imaging in abdomen we can imagine so many organs like liver gallbladder pancreas to detect and so many other organs to detect the abnormalities like liver abscess stone in kidney stone in gallbladder uh, pelvic pathologies and in obstructive uh, obstructive obstructive obs, uh, ultrasound Vascular study is very important uh, while detecting the uh, arterial stenosis and deep venous thrombosis, which is deep venous thrombosis is a very serious medical condition that occurs when the blood clot is formed in the deep veins. These clots usually double, develop in the deep veins of the legs. So ultrasonography plays a key role in minimizing the potential risk for complications which are associated with the DVT. The most serious complication of DVT is pulmonary embolism, where a blood clot breaks and, uh, from the clot and then it, uh, this loose blood clot from the veins uh, in the leg will travel to the lungs where it can use cause obstruction in the pulmonary arteries leading to respiratory distress and in severe condition it can even lead to cardiac arrest. So prompt diagnosis by the ultrasound and then the appropriate treatment of the DVT can significantly reduce the risk of this complication of pulmonary embolism. Ultrasound of musculoskeletal provides the real-time imaging. It allows for the dynamic examination that can show the movements of the soft tissue structure, of the soft tissue structures. Ultrasound is commonly used to assess the muscles, the tendons, the ligaments, and the joints in the musculoskeletal imaging. Injuries, inflammations, and structural abnormalities can all be identified by ultrasound. Proof of the role of ultrasound in lungs is not as much as the role of x-rays in the lungs, but in some cases, the monitoring of the lungs can be performed at the bedside and especially it's used in the mechanically ventilated patients to assess the efficacy of the treatment. Uh, Ultrasound is uh, also very helpful in detecting the presence of the flu in the pleural cavity, uh, which is called pleural effusion. Uh, even if it is in a small amount like 50, 60 ml, that cannot be easily detected on X ray. And uh, uh, I should say that please uh, don't get confused with this medical terminologies that I used once in a while uh, because this is just to get awareness about these terminologies, but uh, you will under understand understand them easily uh, as we go along uh, in the course. So please uh, don't get uh, frustrated. Uh, you will learn uh, with the passage of time. So ultrasound as a point of care uh, is the alternative diagnostic tool for various uh, respiratory diseases, especially in case of pneumonia, as we saw in the past, recent past, in cases of COVID. The advantage of sonography in pediatric imaging, unlike the X-ray, uh, CT scan and MRI, it is non-ionizing. Uh, uh, no radiation is used in ultrasound. So it is particularly useful and important in the PGI imaging, in imaging as the children are more sensitive to the radiations. So minimizing radiations is crucial for the prevention or potential risk of long-term effects such as increased risk of cancer. So sonography is especially beneficial in pediatrics, especially when, when assessing the functions and developments of the organs and the structures in real time to make accurate diagnosis.
its uh, ultrasound used in emergency medicine focused assessment with sonography for trauma also called the fast examination is especially done using ultrasound to assess the potential intra-abdominal or pericardial bleeding. It quickly evaluates the specific areas, including the abdomen, the pericardium, and the pleural spaces for any collection of blood in these uh, places. Uh, value of uh, or use of sonography, uh, elastography, like uh, elastography, is a type of imaging test that checks the organ to see if there uh, is some stiff tissue present or is it, is it normal parenchyma. As stiff areas in an organ is a sign of the disease, like commonly used in the cirrhotic patient in liver or liver failure. The bone sonography, also known as the bone ultrasound, is a medical imaging technology often used to assess the growth and creates an overall bone health in the infants and children to identify the congenital abnormalities, fractures, and infections affecting the bone. Additionally, bone ultrasound is sometimes used for guidance in taking the bone biopsies.